and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on creating a custom password character validator which we can attach to our Django projects. So as you can see here was what we can do with it is we'll be able to go ahead and modify the default all password validators list and we can add in our own peripherals here accordingly in terms of the minimum length of the digit, the minimum length of alphanumeric characters, special characters, lower and uppercase characters as well, as well as attaching our own list of special characters. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you need to make sure you have is a simple Django project. So as you can see I have a simple Django project here and of course I just have the main default page up and running. So the next thing that you're going to have to do is run your server and you can just go ahead and make all of these default migrations. So I'm just going to say python manage.py migrate. Right, so make all of your default migrations, then you can leave it at that. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to evaluate the package that we're going to utilize and that is Django password validators but we're not going to install this just yet. I just want to show you a few things before we get started. So let's have a look at our application. Right, and we can head on over to settings.py and if you scroll down, we can see we have the default auth password validators that are added in to your Django project. So as you can see here by default, we have validators for the following. So as we can see, we have a user attribute similarity validator to check if your password is too common. Then we have a minimum length validator, common password validator, and a numeric password validator. So essentially what we're going to do is add in our own password validator for characters. So let's just go ahead and see as an example how one of these validators may be called. So assuming that you've made your migrations, you can head on over to your terminal and say Python manage py create super user so we're just checking the default now okay username i'm going to leave on the default arno email i'm going to leave blank and i'm going to enter in a password and i'm just going to add in something simple so i'm just going to add in a four character password so i'm just going to call this pass enter pass enter and here we can see it tells me okay this password is too common and this password is too short it must contain at least eight characters so we can see that validation being called here from the default auth password validators and for those that are wondering the password i chose was pass and that's all i added in just to test it so we're not going to bypass this validation or anything like that. So I'm just going to press Control and C and cancel that operation. So you can see how this comes into play here with the default authentication password validator. Now what we're going to do is add in our own password validator specifically to look at our characters. So what you can essentially do, is, let me zoom out here, you can just go ahead and comment this out. I just first want to stop my, yeah, my server stop and you can just go ahead and comment this out. There we go. So we've commented that out. Now the next thing that we can do is go ahead and install this package. So Django password validators, make sure you're in your virtual environment and install Django password validators. All right, there we go, it's been installed. Let's scroll down. And the next thing that we need to do is go to the second section and you wanna add in Django underscore password validators to installed apps. Now you don't need to migrate anything. That's the good thing about this part and you can add that in like so. Right, so now that you have that in place, you can go ahead and scroll down and here by all password validators, you wanna head on back to this documentation on this main page for the package and you wanna copy this list here of all password validators. And you can paste this in here. Just be sure to remove the dots here. And there you go. And that's all you need to do. So we can see this also password validator is taking in the name of the app that we installed Django password validators, which is coming from here. 
And of course, as we can see all of the various constraints, so if I can zoom in here, the minimum length of digits, so how many numbers you can have, how many alpha uh, numeric characters you should have, the minimum length of special characters. And here you can see we designate what we consider to be a special character, the minimum amount of lower case ca uh, characters and uppercase um, characters or letters, should I rather say. And that's how you can go ahead and add that into place. Now, I have an example here of a random password that I have, and I want to see which tests it passes. So what you can do is you can go ahead and say python manage.py create super user. Okay, I'm going to leave the username on the default, skip the email, and I'm going to enter in that, that password. I'm going to copy that, paste it in, and again, and here we can see, okay, this password must contain at least three special characters, which implies that all of the tests here have been passed. So the uppercase, um, um, you could say the uppercase um, constraint, lowercase, alphanumeric, and digital. However, the minimum length of special characters is three, and I do not have any at all. So we need to go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to cancel this. And let's go ahead and alter everything accordingly. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in three characters and I can see from my list here what is acceptable. So I'm going to add in an opening and closing parentheses. That's going to count as two. And then I'm going to add an exclamation mark and that will be three. So I'm going to copy that and save it. And then let's go to our terminal and rerun create super user. All right, skip that, skip that, password time. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, right click, enter, right click, enter, and super user created successfully. So let me show you another example here to test uh, another constraint. So let's say we want to test the digit. So you need at least one number per se. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to create another super user. Username, I'm just going to put under two, email skip, password, okay. I'm going to remove all the numbers here. So I have 26, remove both of that. I have no more numbers, as you can see here in this password. And the main constraint here is to at least have a digit, so one number at least. So now I'm going to copy this here without a number. Again, and as you can see here, the constraint comes up that it must contain at least one digit. So you can see here that this is currently being passed through and that validator is working correctly as it should. Right, so as you can see guys, we've got everything set into place here. That is how we can add in our custom password validator for our characters. Now, of course, there's more that you can add in. So if you look at the documentation here on the main page, we can also set up a unique password validator. There is additional content here explaining everything and how it will be implemented. So it's something I definitely recommend you can check out. And of course, you can see the full-on docs by heading over to the home page on this package itself. All right, guys, so that's it. And that is essentially how you can go ahead and create and customize your own password character validator and set it up accordingly as you would like. So that's it, guys. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time.